girl Lauren with Ladoo Fitness. We've got our kickboxing and core workout for you today. With me I have my good friends Madison and Maddie and we've got our warm-up to start followed by cardio and core. That'll be our first circuit. Every circuit's going to be a cardio section and a core section. We'll have three of them so get ready for some fun. We'll start with Maddie being our modifier so look for her if you're looking for options that are a little less high impact and a little more Good for the body some days. So, all right, you girls ready? Yes. Awesome. So we're going to start with some arm circles. Good thing we're not as tall as Gary or we would hit the ceiling. But you're going to rotate side to side, opening up your abs. I'm sure they're hearing me pop in my shoulders right now. Very good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Next, we've got a jump rope. So if you, I want you to just kind of start here. If you're ready for more, right off the bat, you can hop. Double hops with your legs, just like Madison over here. And yes, their names are both Maddie, but for the sake of this video, Madison. <laughs> I'm like, all my friends are named Maddie. Just kidding. All right, five, four, three, two, and one, very good. We've got kicks, so your front kick, you wanna bring your heel all the way up. Kick, like you're gonna break down a wall. Front kicks, just making you familiar with the moves here. Good, now we've got side kicks. Kick, kick, kick. Keeping those arms up, protecting that beautiful face. jabs. I want you to give me a boxer shuffle. Maddie, you're holding it right here, just a little tiny hop. You're going to hit, 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 hit. Very good. Keep going. So if you look here, now you're hitting nice and hard. Good. So I want her to smack my hand real fast and pull back. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So you hit, hit, hit. That's how you go. Good. Now we're going to move to hooks. Hook, hook, hook. So you come around like you're gonna smash him in the face. Use your breath. And you rotate those hips so you can get the hips into it. That's your hook. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, uppercuts. Hit, hit, hit. There's really no modification to the punches, but just take it slower if you need. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to get a nice stretch in here. So come as low as you can and just kind of stretch side to side. Good. Side to side. Side to side. Good. Now once you reach up, open up that back. Very good, very good. Now, come on up, we've got our bob and weave right here. This is the end of your warm up, so get a little faster, punch a little harder, and get ready for the first cardio portion of your workout. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Our first exercise we have is squat kick. If you're not ready to do this today, just kick with Maddie over here. We're going to start in three, two, go. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Keep going. Look at their form. I'm going to take a break and time them. Good job, girls. So, Madison's got her squat kick here. She's getting nice and low. Good. Looking good, girls. Looks really fun when you're not doing it. Good. I'm back on it with you. Keep those arms up. Protect the pretty face. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Take a break. Now, our next move we've got a jab, side kick, hit, side kick. For less, 
Intensity, don't jump with it. More, get fierce, okay? okay. Getting fierce, not getting fierce. All right, three, two, and go. Use that breath. Let me see what we've got going on here. Oh, she's gonna kick me. Go, go, go. Come on, Maddie. And Madison. Same deal. <laughs> Very good. Looking good. Oh, she got, almost got me again. Three, two, one. Other side. Hit, kick. I'm gonna stick with them the whole time here. Kickboxing is an awesome way to strengthen your core, make you tougher, and get that heart rate up. Right, girls. Right. Right, Lauren. You're the best. Just kidding. Three, two, one. Very good. Right here. Now we've got high knee jabs. Option one. Option two. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three, two, go. Hit, 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 hit. Come on. Keep your hands up. Keep them high. Keep them high. Good. Good. We're breathing. One, Woo. that got my heart rate moving. Awesome, so now we've got our low high. So option one, just a little squat, little hit. Option two, okay, option three, you can actually kind of do in between, but I'm gonna do in between. Maddie's got level one, you've got the nasty level three. All right, in three, two, Go. So if you're with me, get up on those toes. Hit like you mean it. Come on. Down, up, down, up. Good. Three, two, last one. Good, switch sides right away. So I want those hits to still be nice and hard. I want you to hit my hand. Good, come on. There we go. Hear that? That's what I want. Keep going. Let's check. Ooh, little Maddie over here. Gotta work on our, uh, our jumps, don't we? Just kidding. <laughs> She's the best. Three, two, and one. Very good. They're awesome. Next, last part of this cardio portion. Twisting speed bags. So, option one, you're here and you'll stay right here. Option two, you'll twist just your lower body to the right, to the left, and switching. All right, and go, right, left, right. For you, it's left, right, left, right. Keep going. So Maddie's up here. We've got our twisting bunny over here. Hands up high. Get him high, get him high, no matter where you are. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. You made it through your first cardio workout of the day. Now we've got abs. All right, so you got through the first part of cardio circuit one. Now we're moving on to abs to finish out the circuit. So I'm gonna have my two girls come on down here and we've still got Maddie modifying and we've got Madison not modifying. So we've got a weighted roll up. You're gonna put a weight, probably like a five to eight pound weight behind your head. You're gonna breathe in through your nose, out and come up. 
and down. We're doing each move for 30 seconds. So if you need to drop that weight, go ahead and do so. Good. Really reach up with your abdominals. Good. One more. And now you're going to move to an oblique roll up. So you're going to come down, come up, reach to the side, and down, back, down, up, down, back. Use the side of your abdominals to pull up and keep breathing. One more each side. Last one. Very good. Now we've got our weight up above our heads and we're just going to crunch. So you can bring your legs up or keep them straight. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Use that breath, girls. Let me hear you. If you get tired, you can drop the weight down or put your hands behind your head if you'd like. Sometimes my head gets a little heavy, so. Three, two, one. Very good. Now we've got that weight optional behind the head. Right here. Watch out for your hair, ladies. And you're going to come up and down. Otherwise, no weight and just continue to crunch, keeping your eyes forward and your back flat on the ground. Woo! I feel it. You feel it? Oh yeah. Oh mama, it's working. Now we've got our second circuit. This is cardio for the first part of the circuit. We're going to start with jab cross heel kicks. So you're going to hit, hit, click up. Option one, hit, hit, squat. Hit, hit, squat. You're going to look at Madison this time for the modification. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, go. If you can, I want you to 
just start in the lower squat. And click those heels, Dorothy, because you're going home. Come on. Woo! Now I'm getting excited. How are you doing back there, girls? Good. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good. Don't stop moving. Keep going. We've got three ski and a knee. So, one, two, three, knee. Modifier here. Don't go as fast. Don't put your arms up as high. If you want more, crunch. Crunch. Three, two, one. Good. Don't stop moving. We've got jabs on each side. We're going to go in three, two, one. So if you're here with me, nice and fast, burn that shoulder out. Otherwise, Madison's taking a little bit slower, still giving you a great workout. Come on, hit my hand. Oh, ow, 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 she killed it. Looking good. Woo. All right, remind me not to test them again. They're crazy. Woo. Switch. Burn out that shoulder. You got this. Woo! Looking good. Keep that rib cage down. Other arm is up. Three, two, one. Woo! Now we've got a duck elbow, okay? If you don't want to, you're not ready yet, don't come down as far. Otherwise, here, hit. Like you're going underneath someone else's kick or punch. Madison's gonna go a little less intense. Going in three, two, one. Hit, hit. Don't they look awesome? I know. They're amazing. Keep going, and so are you. Now I want you to look back with that hit. Woo! Three, two, one. Woo! Awesome, now we've got some real fun. We've got single, single doubles right here, or Maddie and I are up. Whoops! Sometimes you mess up. Single, single, double. Woo! Come on! Get those knees up. Keep going. A little higher. Single, single, double. Get them up. Single, single, double. Looking good. portion of circuit two. We've got Madison modifying and for a little bit harder look at Maddie and she'll help you out and get a nice little butt kicking. Our first move is plank punch. We've got on your knees or on your toes and you're punching out. Good. What I want you to watch for here is your hips. We don't want any hula hips. So see how Madison here is keeping her hips nice and solid. And, oh, Maddie is too. So they're both working it out nice and hard, keeping them straight. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Now we've got boat to V sit. Option one, you're down here and you're going to pulse for three, up for three, pulse for three, up for three. Option two, We've got boat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And switch. 
All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Three, two, go. I want you to use your breath to help your abs tuck in and stay tight. Roll those shoulders back. If you look closely, you can see how the breathing helps our abs contract. Three, two, and relax. So good. Very, very good. Now we've got three pulse and hold. So you're going up, two, three, back down. Up, two, three, back down. Really no modifier for this one, but if you'd like, you can stick your legs out to make it harder with Maddie. Looking good. Three, two, and relax. So good, you're killing it, all of you. Awesome, so now we've got our double leg stretch. So option one, you're gonna put your hands underneath your glutes and you're just gonna go one, two, little pulses each time, okay? Option two, harder, you're gonna grab right here. Option three, grab at your calves and go. Double, double. If your neck starts to get tired, you can go ahead and drop. This is kind of like option two and a half. Not quite. Three. Now singles. Single, single, single. Woo! Do you feel it? Yeah. You can clap in between those legs if you want. Three, two, and one. Ugh. Very good. Nice work. Now we've got our figure four. So you're gonna make a four with your leg by crossing that upper leg over. And you can put your hands underneath your glutes and move a little less wide for a modification. Otherwise, you're right here. We're going down, two, three, up, two, three. On the way up, make sure you squeeze those abdominals. Are we feeling it? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Mama, you can do it. You got it. And switch sides for me. Let's go. Up, two, three, down, two, three. Remember, less range of motion, less work. If your back starts to hurt, don't go as low as the legs. Use your breath. Pulse those abs just a little bit. Good job, Maddie. Keep it up. Two and one. Relax. Good. Last thing in this part of circuit two, you're going to roll up. Option one, you can keep your legs here or straight out. We've got a ballerina twist. Your hands are above your head. You're going to twist back and up. Twist back and up. Twist back and up. Option two, right here. And go. Oh, those hip flexors. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is. Woo! Oh, I'm dropping. One. Very good. Now we're moving on to circuit three and your final circuit.
first we've got cardio. Ladies, hop up. Our first move is a squat hook. So you're down, hook, hook, hook. We've got Maddie modifying on this one. Madison's going to pump it up. So look here if you want more. Here if you want, take down a notch. All right, so squat hooks. We're going in three, two, one. To modify, just go a little slower. Don't go as low with the legs. Madison, get your butt down. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, good. Now you've got knee slams. You're gonna pull one arm up. You're gonna slam it down here. Option one, just a nice little tap. Two, go faster, and go. Good, keep going. So see how she's slowing down just a little bit. Still a great workout. And then, beast mode over here. Keep it up. Circuit because that's what we're looking for, right? 
So we're going to start here. Aim your forearm plank. Option one, you can stay on your knees if you want to. Option two, you're up here. And three, a nice hop. We're going. In three, two, and go. So keep your eyes forward. Don't drop that head. We're just adding extra weight to hold on to. We want to push through the shoulder blades. Good. Nice. If you get real tired, just stay here and hold that plank. Eyes forward. How we doing? Looking good, girls. Here's where I take a break and talk about how pretty they are. And my life is great. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now we've got heels to the heavens. So you're going to lay on your backs. Option one, just a little pelvic tilt. Little tilt. Option two, heels to the sky. And go. Lift them up there. You don't want to lift them too far behind your chest. You want to try to stay kind of in line with that belly button. Looking good. Hands can be underneath your glutes or off to the side. And if our head gets tired, drop it down or hold the hands behind the back. Three, two, one. Very good. Now we've got our side series. So I want everybody to go to their side. You're going to lean backwards. So the goal here is to find that platform, that spot that is between your hips and your butt so you can sit comfortably on it. Option one, you're going to just lift that bottom leg just slightly to the top leg. Option two, both legs are up. We're going to go in three, two, one. Up, up, looking good. Just crunching, good. Maddie's got the modifier here, making sure you just keep one leg up and tapping to it. Looking good. Keep crunching. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Now we're gonna do we're gonna do the top leg to the bottom leg. So you're gonna bring your top leg, your bottom leg is up, modifier, bottom leg is down, and you're lifting a little bit harder right here. And go. You should feel it in your glute, your butt, the glutes, whatever you want to call it. It's tight. It's cramping. And we love it. You should also feel it right here in your abs. So give me a good crunch. Four. out if you want. I like to. Now we're going to bend the bottom leg and we're going to crunch up. So for this one I like to put my arm out a little bit and really get into my abs. If your side is hurting you can always drop down. Maddie will show you. You can stay right here and keep the legs down and crunch up. Otherwise Madison's over there killing it. Good, now you're gonna bring both legs out. And you're gonna slide, you're gonna basically bring one leg up and you're gonna slide and crunch. So you should feel it in your ab, you should feel it in your glute. You feel it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, all right. Woo, crunch, crunch. Finish it out. Woo. Three, two, one. Good. Drop it down here and just crunch it out. Last thing on this side of the body. Good. Good job. How are we looking? Good as always. Very good. Crunch 
it out. Hold it up. Hold it up. Finish it. Hold it up. Five, four, get it higher. Three, two, one. Very good. Drop that bottom leg, hit it out. And we're going to switch sides to finish this puppy out. Woo! All right. So, reminder, you can be right here with your top leg up, just slightly, if you're doing level one, with a little tap up. You want to make sure you're not on your hip and you're not all the way on your butt, you're right in between. You're going to tap up, up, and Madison and I are going up. Double legs, and go. Putting this hand here is a great way to help you hold your balance. Woo. My butt hurts on the other side. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Woo. Nice. All right. Now we've got, we're going to go top to bottom. So either one leg is down and you're just doing leg lifts or both legs are up and you're tapping and go. Keep those shoulders back. Tighten those abs. Remember why you're here. And if it hurts really, really, really bad, keep going. Unless you're injured, then don't. But you got this. You can do it. Three, two, one. Very good. Bend that bottom leg in and crunch it up. So you almost kind of want to be able to like crunch to your toe. So you're really on your side here. Woo! I'm losing it. Come on. Three, two, one. Good. Hit it out. Two more exercises and then you get to stretch. Lucky you. Lucky, lucky you. Awesome. So now, you're either going to stay down here and crunch up or come up and crunch and go. Looking good. Just breathing. Don't stop breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish it out. Whoa, nice. Crunch. Sometimes I feel like, oh, I can't get up. I'm struggling. So when that happens, I want you to slow down and focus on pulling your abs up.
Good, now you're gonna roll forward and stretch the back of your legs. I don't want you to reach here for your toes or anything, you just wanna keep your shoulders rolled back and then go where that comfortably brings you as long as you feel a good stretch back here. Whew, nice. Good, now we're going into pigeon stretch. So, the pigeon looks like these. You will bring one leg in front and make a little angle with it. Otherwise, you can stay right up here and keep the leg close in. If you can't make it all the way out there, that's okay. The stretch was actually really, really hard for me until I tried it like 50 times. So, if you can, you can come down here too and relax. And up. Good. Really stretch the neck. You're going to give me some neck rolls. One more. Good. Now we'll move to the other side. Awesome. So you've got hip flexor stretch. This time, you're on your other side and you're stretching forward. You can grab that wrist and reach if you'd like. And roll it back. Looking good. Awesome. Really give me a little bit deeper of a stretch. Good. Now you're going to rotate into that pigeon. So you just drop down and stretch. You can stay high or go low. Thank you for following our kickboxing core and cardio workout. You're awesome.